Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. In this sub series, we are talking about the C Ash or DLC report and how to view that using the report viewer control. Now you are at part 4 of the sub series, and here we are going to place a report viewer control on the form, then we will link the uh, report viewer control with the RDLC report template which was created in the previous video. So the RDLC template at this moment makes use of only one control and that one is called table control, report table control and in that report table control we are picking four column from the titles table of the pubs database. So since here we are linking the report viewer control with the RDLs, RDLC template, we can run our form and see how the report is fetched. Alright, now we will proceed. First we learned about the basics of data source, RDLC report template and report viewer control. Then we set up data source. After that, we added a table control in our RDLC report template. Now we will use the report viewer control and the report viewer control will take the RDLC file and displace the report data in the control. The control is grouped under report category. The control is grouped under report category. You can see that here. This is the report part and report viewer present here. So you can simply drag and drop this uh, report viewer control in our uh, C sharp form. We already have a C sharp form and we set a caption for that as uh, book titles, but the form was empty. In this video, we will place this report viewer control to the form. Once the control is on the form, using a quick access menu, we can link the um, control with the RDLC report template. So this will be the quick access menu. Then here choose report is there right and if you see using the drop down here we are picking the RDLC template. A project can have multiple RDLC template. So in our case we have only one. If there are plenty of uh, RDLC report template you can choose one and link that to the report viewer control. Now we will place the report viewer control on Windows form. That means here in this uh, video and assign a report template to it. So first we will place the report viewer control, then we will assign our RDLC template. So it's demo time. We will go ahead and do these two simple tasks and run our report. So our RDLC report template is ready. Now we will go to the form and in the properties, I'm just pinning it down. We can rename this as a forum book title. So this rename is actually not uh, required.
but when the project is big and if you want to display a form a meaningful form name will be useful so from the uh, menu and let's say the menu is like tools it will be report and all these menu items right the menu items displays uh, report names so let's say this one is the uh, book title report so menu is report right here if it is book title and once you click in the command handler we will be creating a forum book titles and we are displaying it so displaying this form will uh, display the report viewer control and thereby it will display the report so that's why here we are giving a meaningful name in this example we are not going to access this form through menu all those stuff we will be directly running it and seeing the report okay no need to spend too much time on this uh, form rename title but uh, give you a meaningful name for your form all right now we will go ahead and place the report viewer control here and you can see how it uh, displays choose a report this is our project name rpt book titles dot rdlc so that's the template here is the template right we designed that in the previous video that's what i'm choosing here for our uh, report viewer control that's all next we will move this here then i'm choosing properties then we will go to the dog property and we will dock this to our entire form that's all now we can directly run this so you can see how uh, report is displayed there is only one page and you can see the other controls so this one will navigate to the first page and this will navigate to the last page useful when report when report spans on multiple pages or if you want to go through the report one by one i mean page by page then you can use next page and previous page buttons there are other controls as well refresh print layout all those stuff using print layout you can see how the report will display when it will be printed so it's not good as uh, we view it in a print layout that means we need to set up the page and other stuff here i'm going for a page setup we'll go for a landscape then we will move to then we will move to print layout this time if you see the report is displayed only on two pages because we are using the landscape here that's all here uh, in this uh, video thank you for watching bye